some bridge. Carl Sternhardt, PhD. I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue in I don't know the title. Muppeties! Good thing that pest Sternhardt's not around. So you took my lamp, eh? Look, the kerosene ate away the tarnish. Now I got it. Look at that. I do believe it's a wood stone. Wait! He missed the auric alchemy. bead. Too dedicated to his work, I guess. It fits perfectly. Whoa! I'm offering this mysterious eel figurine. The lost dialogue of Plato is in the Dunlop collection. I believe Barnett College owns the Dunlop collection. It's my guess we found the treasure we seek. My God, think of tanks. Think of airplanes. Think of bombs. So why are you dragging me in here? Wait here while I look for the Dunlop collection. No thanks. I'll meet you in your office. It says, for sale, 1937 Ford Coupe, like new, 300 bucks. It says, where have you gone, Joe DiMaggio? It's a greasy old towel. It's hot. It's very hot. A fine sample of bitumen. It's too slippery to walk up. Dunlop collection. It's an old lecture hall desk, complete with a wad of gum, I'll bet. It sure is gooey. Fine example of braided hemp. It's from the Shamit collection. Very sharp. It's a hole leading to the attic. I believe it's part of the old Sprague collection. It's locked. The floor isn't slippery enough. It won't move. I don't think that'll work. It 
It's a screw, early 20th century, I believe. Ouch, the screw came out, but that hurt. It's an arrowhead with a soiled rag wrapped around it. It's unscrewed. I think I'll stick this on my shoes for traction. What do you know? The gum works! I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. I believe it's part of the old Pierce collection. Another cat idol. It looks odd. I believe it's part of the old Pierce collection. It's made out of wax. I'm not getting out that way. It's a book ready to fall. I don't think that'll work. It's a manuscript. It's the lost dialogue of Plato. It melted. It says, wanted rideshare to World's Fair. It says, Edward Teller, phone home.
I got it. I found Plato's lost dialogue. Really? Our jungle friend Sternhardt is quite the scholar. Let me see. See how this will help us find Atlantis. Didn't you notice Plato's tenfold numbering error? So he got his dates mixed up. Why is that so important? Plato's error means distances could also be wrong. So what if they are? If Plato is right, Atlantis is in the Mediterranean. You mean 300 miles from Greece instead of 3,000? Yes, the cradle of civilization. You could be right. He once told me he came from the middle of the world. That's what Mediterranean means. Good old Nurab Sal. I'm starting to like him. Wait, quiet. I think I'm getting something. So, Mr. Sal, what's the secret? Be patient, he's lost. But I think I know how to guide him home. Among the artifacts that Kerner stole was a small stone disc with a hole in it. I'm sure it was one of the three stones mentioned in Plato's book. And I didn't find it. I bought it from Omar al-Jabbar in Algiers. Haven't we talked to enough of these nutcases? Or was it Alain Cartier in Monte Carlo? Either way, Algiers or Monte Carlo. This much I do know. You'll need all three stones if you want to find Atlantis. All right, I'm ready to go. Not so fast. First, I'm going to tell your fortune. Look into my eyes. Deep into my eyes. For Pete's sake, I'm not going to hurt you. Now hold still. You are a remarkable man, Dr. Jones. You possess great strength of character. You are resourceful. But you're better with your fists than your head. I foresee combat and violence along your path to Atlantis, a path too dangerous for me. 